We're here in Lisbon at the Web Summit, and what you see here is also a lot of blockchain companies, not only cryptocurrencies, but using blockchain for business performance. And the interesting thing, Ukraine, Kiev, there's a whole lot of activity there in terms of um, companies who are there. And one of them is 4irlabs.com. And uh, Max, what, 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 is, what kind of company do you do? Yeah, so we have a company that uh, uses blockchain and web solutions to help decentralize the economy. So we see that uh, there is really underutilization of shared resources. And currently we're building the product called Shared that will allow associations like Trade Consortia to use the shared resources uh, in the ERP-like system. Yeah, okay. So we have an example here. You had, uh, for example, uh, which one did you have here? Um, you have Trash. A bunch of companies want to work together, they have a whole lot of trash, and you basically put on top of those companies some kind of a system, a, a smart contract on top of the blockchain to sell that to other people. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the problem with this industry is that the margins are really low. So most companies don't bother. So basically they can sell all their waste, but they just don't bother because management of this would uh, take more than the profits. Yeah. So. With this system, we kind of uh, allow everybody to open their stock of their waste, and this way, somebody who wants to uh, buy a big amount of waste can basically take all the cost and headache to manage all of that. Okay, and this is a working solution, right? How many how many working solutions do you have at the moment? So we have now two solutions. One of them is uh, like tested now in the Odessa in Ukraine. Uh, with this uh, uh, base management. Yep. The other one is uh, in Sweden. It's a system that allows the green fund to uh, present uh, the results of their investment. Uh -huh. So uh, this uh, early showcases. Uh, we're going towards logistics now and we're building a government system. So that, that's what we do. Also for the Ukraine, what do you have in America? What kind of? So uh, this is a a service that will allow like it's an uber like system like where we try to put uber on the blockchain but instead of transportation we can allow any service to be provided okay so this is really interesting ukraine does a lot more than just trouble and uh, they have a lot of uh, smart people now how many people in the company the whole company is 25 people yeah and you first made all kinds of products on top of ethereum right uh, and how you've changed to what system now so we're looking towards like all these use cases are in the private blockchain space as we see now. Yeah. Uh, probably in the future it will move towards public. However, now companies don't rush to open their data to everybody. Yeah. So we're not playing with it more now. And we also see that uh, one of the biggest problems with decentralized organization is the lack of the uh, support of the law right and the banking sphere so we see that uh, with this more closed private approach that for example hyperledger or so or quorum use uh, we can a quorum is from gp morgan gp morgan made their own blockchain engine a private one which you can use and you can use it for free it's open uh, it's yeah. open software it's all open source and, and and gp morgan the one who criticizes a lot uh, you know about cryptocurrency so blockchain they believe in how good is their software well, uh, we like it so far. We've chosen it as a uh, like platform for now, and uh, I think like what banks and other organizations say that uh, like cryptocurrency is not good, but blockchain overall is better. Yeah. So, okay. so interesting that J.P. Morgan is into that uh, into that field. Uh, uh, Twenty-five people. Why are you here? What kind of contacts are you looking here at Web Summit? Yeah. So we're looking for the early adopters. Uh, decentralized organizations, consortia, public organization that are facing, or cities even, yeah. that are facing this problem of managing of shared resources. And we'd like to work on the use case with them and have them as early adopters. Yeah, your business model is you build a solution for clients and you charge by the hour or something or by contract. We're now bootstrapping. So uh, we want uh, in one or two years have a maybe not as big as SAP, but something pretty sufficient. Yeah. And for that, we want uh, not to build out of our head. We want to build on the real use cases and combine it under the one platform. Thank you very much, Max. So you see, blockchain initiatives you have everywhere. I mean, I thought it was interesting. They want to help it for a decentralized organization, for consortia, make a solution. They're trying out different kind of blockchains, and these are the service providers and the solution providers of tomorrow, in this case, from the Ukraine.
So I'm here with uh, Omri Ires. He's from Hamburg and he's uh, basically a blockchain enthusiastic and, uh, person. How, how is Web Summit and blockchain doing at the moment? Uh, I think it's doing pretty good. I mean, I, I was a little bit surprised to see all this interest from mostly people that are new to blockchain. Yeah, they have no idea. They show up at all these talks and then there's a stage for 50 people and 500 people stay, yeah, yeah. Uh, end up. And, they, and I talked to some of them. They have no idea what it's about, but blockchain is so hot. But Yeah, but they are interested in it. So that's the first step, right? So yes. um, actually, one, one of the reasons I'm organizing blockchain events in Hamburg as well is to kind of try to educate people about. Yeah. Did you find interesting speakers here where you go like, you went to a Microsoft uh, blockchain event. Huh? How was it? Did you find speakers Did you go like, they need to go to Hamburg? Uh, actually not. I was. Uh, I didn't learn uh, anything new. I met some interesting people there, though. So, like in every event, but yeah. the talks themselves weren't uh, special or. Any interesting startups here, which use the black uh, the, the blockchain? I uh, met a Ukraine Ukraine version of a guy who makes incredible, you know, nice blockchain applications on top for industries. Yeah. And so I saw a couple of nice uh, startups. What did you see? Uh, I met Pivex, which is kind of a private anonymous uh, cryptocurrency, which is pretty interesting. And the Rise is here as well. It's another project. Uh, I saw some financial like payments, you know, payment providers, which is nothing new. I guess the space is very full, but they're all trying to kind of to eat their market share. So yeah. except of that. But just Did you uh, okay? People, so. Yeah, let's say you put blockchain in your description on your uh, thing, and a lot of people chat with you, right? Yeah, exactly. So the app is working pretty well. Um, so the web summit just uh, developed an app, and you can contact everyone. So yeah. I just so the app is really nice. You can just find everybody, and and they answer from time to time. It's really interesting. There's no push up. So how's your blockchain? How's your Bitcoin investment doing? I'm currently not holding any Bitcoin, actually. So doesn't get it doesn't go up fast enough for you? Uh, no, I'm just looking on alternative uh, projects. I mean, Which one are you in then? Are you into uh, cryptocurrency? A, a lot of different ones. Um, I think my my best uh, investment until now was Ripple, I guess. Ah, okay. So yeah, that was Ripple, the banking, the banking coin, which nobody knows what they're doing with it. Hey, thanks. Appreciate uh, it's it. It's working. So yeah. it's thanks working. a lot. Huh? Yeah. Enjoy.